so we'll get started in just a minute. I, I respect both of your time, so um, just give me one minute to make sure that other people uh, may be joining us. Um, and Chris, I'm just going to take that a second. Maybe we can uh, speak um, afterwards. Um, Did you say um, Chris? Yes, yes, Chris. Okay, you broke up. Me. Sorry about that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, let's let's speak. Uh, let's, let's schedule time to speak because uh, I want to hear uh, uh, a little bit more about what you're doing. Okay. So you want to talk after the meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll give you a call. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay. I and can you see? You can see my screen. I I hope I'm going to enlarge the uh, the presentation and then we're going to begin. Yeah. Just give it a second to uh, appear. In the meantime, again, my name is Nancy Reamer, and I'm the Director of Education and Training for Reviva Labs. And today we're going to focus on two of the eight collections that's offered by Reviva. Um, and please know that every month we host uh, Reviva training like this uh, all around one or two collections. So please uh, look forward to seeing emails uh, from our, our corporate office about which collection will be reviewed um, and join us again. Uh, or you can just check our website at reviva.com under the About Us, and you'll see uh, all the future dates and topics. Uh, right now, I, I know I don't have you muted, so, and there's only two of you on the line, so if you want to ask a question, by all means, please do so. Or you can just use the, uh, the chat bubble, and we can, I can take all questions at the end. So with that, let's begin. Um, oh, oh. This is an advancement. There we go. Okay. Reviva Labs was established in 1973 by Steven Strassler, and he was one of the first licensed estheticians in the United States. His approach to skincare was uh, individual products for individual skincare needs, and you will see that philosophy um, applied throughout our, our um, collection, um, individual products, individual needs. So with that, the slide three, you see that what sets us apart is that we are a solution-based skincare line. That goes back to being the, our esthetician roots. Um, and what I mean by that is that we don't necessarily um, have a full line for oily skin or dry skin or normal skin. We instead approach uh, our development of products based on categories of concern. And those two concerns that we'll be talking about today are the re if somebody wants to revitalize, and particularly in the eye area, uh, we have a collection of products that will do that. And we have specialty products, but you'll see um, in a minute what other, the other collections address. The second thing that sets us apart as a brand is the concept of layering. And, it, and specifically, I'm talking about uh, serums. We have a lot of serums that do very, very specific and targeted work for the skin. So somebody might want to uh, have drier skin and might want or need the hyaluronic acid serum. Um, however, that person can layer the hyaluronic acid serum right on top of the collagen serum if she or he chooses to. Um, just with some dry down time. So we, we approach that uh, skin care, uh, again, through targeted ingredients and through uh, an accepted concept of layering. And I can uh, add more information to that as we go along. And the third thing that sets us apart is that we are a 45-plus-year-old brand, and we have been launching new products over decades um, and each formula goes under extensive review and testing, of course, before, before we introduce it, but we are always looking for innovative ingredients that would really drive um, a consumer um, to purchasing again because it was such a targeted approach um, and did more than just your average uh, moisturizer could do. So those are the three things that set us apart as a brand. Um, next. Um, Sorry, just trying to get my computer to advance. Let's try it this way. Hold on. Um, here we go. These are the eight 
different collections that we offer at Reviva. Undoubtedly, um, some stores just have a, 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 a smaller, they may not carry the whole collection of anti-aging products or brightening products or firming and so on and so forth, but just know that we address our, the skin care needs, again, being very specific, very esthetician-based, by these separate um, eight collections of products. So you won't necessarily see a cleanser, toner, serum, moisturizer in the firming ingredient, um, the firming collection, but know that they, they um, um, all address, all the products in the firming area or collection will address firming in some way. Okay, I always like to begin with just a, a very brief review of skin and how it works because it sets the stage for understanding our products. So the skin is the largest organ of the body and its major function is to protect the body from environmental assault, prevent from it losing um, excess water, and protect the body from infection. Um, it rejuvenates itself about every 28 days in order to maintain the organ and that level of protection and prevention. Um, however, it also can um, age, we can age, our skin can look age prematurely. There's chronological aging, which is just based on your DNA, and then most often we are addressing premature aging that is a result of the environment, sun, pollution, extreme climate, stress, lifestyle habits, um, or I should just say poor lifestyle habits that, um, you know, like poor diet, smoking, excess alcohol, all these various um, assaults on the skin produce free radicals, which damage the DNA, which um, leads to a support system breakdown. And that specifically means collagen, elastin, and cell renewal. The common concerns that uh, are addressed through premature aging are um, or as a result of premature aging, are lack of hydration, which is exhibited in rough spots, fine, fine lines, lack of firmness, which is, uh, leads to wrinkling and sagging, and uneven skin tone, dullness, bright spots. So those are basically the things that we're addressing through our collection. So let's start with the revitalizing collection. These four products in the revitalizing collection all address the eye area. Additionally, what makes this collection really um, special and unique is that most of the products use, um, if not all of them, use plant extracts and um, trace minerals to do the hard work. So let's start. The consumer who would be most attracted to products in this collection are generally looking uh, for something for their eyes, as I mentioned, but something because they're, they feel tired, their skin needs re-energizing, there's a lack of radiance. Um, so let's start with the eye complex firming cream for $18. This eye cream is mostly targeted targets firming and smoothing the appearance of the eye area. It helps to reduce the appearance of crow's feet or fine lines and wrinkles around the eye. It will help diminish the look of um, bags, shadows, puffiness. But if you're trying to distinguish, and let's say you carry, you know, two to three of these different products, its major point of difference will be that it helps to firm and smooth the eye area. And again, that's right in the name of the product, Eye Complex Firming Cream. Okay. Eye Glee Concentrate is concentrates on fighting dryness, moisture binding, um, Yes, it helps to reduce the puffiness, again, with herbal extracts, much like the eye firming. But eye glee is all about somebody who's looking to just maintain that moisture in the skin. Um, and it also helps, I'll get into it in a, in a minute, uh, there are specific ingredients that help to support collagen and elastin in that skin around the eyes. Throat and eye cream combats wrinkles. Um, in that delicate throat and eye area, it helps it appear more smooth, um, and it does that through the use of oils and plant extracts that help tone and stimulate. Very good for uh, sensitive skin. Um, I like this cream because I think throat and eyes and your hands are the places that really um, start aging first. They take the brunt of that environmental assault. Um, whether we're squinting because it's sunny, um, 
or um, the throat rarely, people rarely pull their sunscreen down onto their throat area day in and day out. They may do it when they're at the beach or at the lake or at the river, but they don't necessarily always do it. So the throat gets sunburned easily, and therefore the skin starts to wrinkle more quickly. So uh, this cream was designed specifically for these sensitive areas. Lastly, we in this collection, we have the Biopeptide Bioflavonoid Complex Optima Eyes eye cream. Um, the key distinguisher about this product is that it's super, super lightweight and really easy to apply. So that's one of the features that would uh, somebody would be attracted to if they don't want a heavier, denser cream around their eyes all day long, or they find that using such a denser, creamier eye cream interferes with eye makeup. This is terrific. Um, as a very lightweight product. Um, in fact, maybe oilier skins may prefer this, again, because they generally don't like to have something more dense around the eyes and feeling heavy and occlusive. However, with all that said, in terms of the feature of it being very lightweight, what really distinguishes it and the benefit of using this product is that it uses a collection of advanced peptides to improve the overall appearance of the skin. So. This may also appeal not only to somebody who is normal, normal, but oily, but somebody who um, is really noticing fine lines for the first time and wants something that's going to address it immediately, supporting that skin so it, it sort of uh, retards or slows the, the development of fine lines and wrinkles with the peptides. Peptides stimulate collagen production. And as we age, we lose uh, collagen. So this will help keep the, the balance in the skin to improve the delicate eye area. So this next page will go a little bit of a deeper dive into the ingredients. So starting with the eye complex firming cream, you see all the herbs that create the blend to help firm and strengthen the skin. Clover, St. John's Mark, the all-important arnica, and so on and so forth. It is a, a, a just a jam-packed with herbs for firming and strengthening uh, the skin around the eyes. In addition, we use almond and wheat churn oil. Fatty acids help to retain uh, moisture in the skin, so it remains soft and smooth, um, but very lightweight. The eye glee, again, that is more about deep hydration and moisture replenishment. So sodium PHC is actually extracted from vegetables and fruits and coconut oil. It's extremely effective as a humectant. Um, and then we all know olive vera and hyaluronic acid are two ingredients that help uh, restore and replenish and retain moisture in the skin. And hydrolyzed collagen is a way of helping to retain the firmness of the skin. Um, next, you see the two plant ingredients of mallow and black elderberry uh, contributing to an antioxidant blend, uh, which keeps the inflammation at bay and helping to soothe the skin there. Um, inflammation is one of the, the key reasons our skin starts to break down, whether it's from environmental, um, as we start, saw earlier, environmental concerns or internal concerns um, with poor, poor lifestyle habits. Lastly, the throat and eye cream also uses a different array of uh, plant extracts. This time it's horsetail, hops, uh, flower, rosemary, all ingredients that help to provide that nur the nourish nourishment that the delicate eye area and throat area needs, and a different antioxidant in throat and eye cream with uh, CoQ10 to help fight the signs of aging. So take ingesting CoQ10 or applying it topically helps this, uh, the body in an antioxidant um, manner. Okay. Um, again, questions I'll take at the end because right now you are you are muted, so um, you can use the bubble to ask questions later, or I can just uh, unmute everybody and take it um, through the through the phone line. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at the specialty collection. the The specialty collection is basically a, a collection of a, a variety of different products that all take care of a very specific issue. So let's just dive in and, and see what this is about. Uh, Rosewater Facial Spray, one of our top sellers. This is just a, an absolute favorite among people because not only does it smell great, but it also helps to refresh the skin or the hair 
Um, and I would recommend at this time of year to keep it in the refrigerator to help. Uh, I tell you, when you come home from work, uh, traffic, uh, driving home in the traffic, or working out, or just playing outside, um, it helps to immediately um, refresh the skin, but also gives a cooling mist. And it's very good for sensitive skin. Now, the Rose Hibiscus Hydrating Facial Spray is a little bit different from the rose water in that it offers superior hydration. And again, in these summer months, people don't want to put a heavy cream on their face. So this is a, a extra insurance of hydration uh, through a facial spray. Um, it does contain hyaluronic acid and aloe, two of our favorite hydrating ingredients here at Reviva. Um, and you can use it either to tone the skin, so meaning you can put it on after your skincare, so you know, cleanse your skin, tone. Um, I would recommend a serum and then a lightweight moisturizer, and you can just set all that and lock in that moisture through a, a fine mist spray of the Rose Hibiscus, or you can do it after you put on your makeup um, and set your makeup with that, or you can just put it on alone if you're, um, you know, don't want to use a, a moisturizer at all. And again, it's great for the hair and body as well. Um, I feel like I was going to say something else about that. I'm sorry, it just flew out of my head. But in any event, uh, so rose water, again, it's a, just a multi-purpose refreshener, but rose hibiscus specifically targets hydrating, and it's right in its name. So I remember what I was going to say. A way of recommending that people apply this so they don't get a spray of rose water or rose hibiscus in their, in their eye, which I've done at times, the easiest way to do this is just to spray the air around you and walk through it. Um, and you can do that multiple times and, you know, without, you know, almost layering the, the fine mist without feeling like you're drenching yourself. So just spray the air, walk through it. Easiest way to do it. Makeup primer. Uh, this is a beloved product out there, uh, particularly of the young, young women set um, because it keeps your makeup on forever. And it by filling in like fine lines or, or pores, um, it just creates a, a nice canvas to the skin. So it's applied after skincare and right before your makeup. It controls excess shine, it makes your skin really smooth, and it helps your foundation and eyeshadow last longer. So by adding this one product, you are getting a better benefit from if you wear makeup, um, and if you're concerned about, you know, yes, you need your skin care, but you're still left with some surface lines or, or deep pores, this will help conceal those as well. And we just, because, you know, just because we've added CoQ10 to for um, an antioxidant protection. Love this product. You're all about it when I go to stores to train. Okay, uh, vitamin K cream improves the appearance of bruised skin. Um, we use it, um, a, a number of different fruit act extracts that improve the overall complexion, but it's basically for uh, bruised skin. And as you see there in that little ingredient box, vitamin K in general works to strengthen the fine, small capillaries. Um, so it helps to, imp if you strengthen the capillary walls, then the blood can flow through and not leak through, which is part of the, the concern about um, the causes of bruise. So you strengthen the capillaries, you are less likely to look as bruised, is the, is the theory there. Um, um, and we've improved the formula recently by adding more vitamin K, but because we did that, you might see or hear a consumer say um, to you that it, it looks like it has a little bit of a yellowish tint to the cream. That is a good thing. Uh, more vitamin K, less bruising. And lastly, we in this category, um, a specialty before I move on to the charcoal, is the hypo, uh, our hypoallergenic mascara. Uh, another fan favorite. Um, it, uh, it builds the look of the lashes, but it won't smudge or flake or clump. Um, it is enriched with panthenol and, uh, to help moisturize and re uh, condition the lashes. Um, it is so free, pH balanced to avoid the eye irritation. Oops. And it is currently only available in black. We have discontinued brown. Okay, the last set of products in the specialty category is our charcoal skincare regimen. 
Um, we are, I believe, the only brand on the market that has a full array, uh, starting with cleansing to mass to moisturizing, um, using different types of charcoal. So I'm going to review those products right now. Um, but first, we'll start with a little chat about charcoal. I found this fascinating when I was doing the research for why charcoal, what, what makes charcoal so good for your skin. Well, um, and it's activated charcoal, obviously. And activated charcoal um, in skin care is typically uh, only uh, by using, we only use bamboo and coconut shells. So the, the process of making, of activating the charcoal starts first by heating those materials, the bamboo and those coconut shells, but then the char is used and therefore activated again by putting it into a furnace at super high temperatures without oxygen so the char's uh, particles become extremely porous. Um, and that's what we're looking for, uh, small porous particles of the charcoal. And the resulting powder of this uh, activated charcoal is non-toxic, safe, and absolutely odorless. So bamboo um, has the ability to draw away uh, impurities from the skin, and that's what we use it. But it doesn't do it by absorbing uh, particles or, or toxins in the skin. It does it by a process called adsorption. So I like to think of it um, as sort of like a magnet because during adsorption, molecules, small particles, bind to the charcoal as opposed to being absorbed by it. And in fact, uh, the charcoal can attract up to 100 times its own weight. Um, so this ability uh, of, of adsorption, of attracting the dirt and then rinsing it off makes it terrific to use in uh, cleansing masks and cleansers to eliminate uh, breakouts and unclogged pores. And charcoal, um, the coconut charcoal um, is another form of activated charcoal, um, and it has very similar properties as bamboo with slightly more antibacterial uh, set of properties to it to really dry out and uh, be effective in excess oils. All right, so let's look at the products. Starting with the body wash. Um, this de-cleanses, exfoliates, helps reduce skin impurities. This is great for if you have, you know, uh, body acne, particularly on the back. Uh, just keep this right in the shower, good for all skins, cleanses, soothes your body. Um, um, yeah, this is, this is just terrific. And it, it does um, exfoliate using the, the fine particles of the bamboo and lava, um, white lava, um, which is different from some of the more mass uh, body wash exfoliators, which use, uh, or, or those that are available in the mass market, that use tiny plastic beads, which can be super harmful to the environment. So this does it totally with just charcoal and the coconut charcoal and uh, lava. Cleansing gel, bamboo charcoal cleansing gel is for the face, and this is infused with the uh, bamboo charcoal facial cleanser. Um, so it de-cleanses, it's sulfate-free, it's about using other cleansing agents in there. And it is rich in uh, natural botanicals and extracts. It's good for all skin types. Um, and this interesting fact that I put on this uh, slide um, certainly won't happen at this time of year where it's warm. But if you're traveling, let's say you throw this in your suitcase uh, to travel with, and you are traveling in the middle of December in Minneapolis, you will. This product will turn from black to slight to dark gray when the temperature falls before set below 72 degrees. It's actually happened at Expo West once, right here in Southern California, um, where it was went below 72 degrees and this product was on the dock waiting for us to, you know, bring it out. And it was all gray. And within just a matter of hours, it turned its nice deep black. It doesn't affect the efficacy of the product. It's just the, the natural ingredients um, reaction uh, to, to the environment. So. Just throw that out there. Um, bamboo charcoal pore minimizing mask. I love this mask. It not only deep cleanses and, and gently exfoliates the skin, but what I love about it is that it's not a mask that's going to dry in some some way on your skin that you you race to wash it off. It remains supple and and flexible 
throughout the time that it's on your skin. And in fact, once you do wash it off, not only does your skin feel super clean, um, but it also feels moisturized and supple. Because we use, if you look at the ingredients that set it apart, in addition to the charcoal that's doing all the detoxifying and exfoliating and brightening, we have an array of organic oils, sunflower, coconut, jojoba, barrage, that nourish the skin and leave it smooth and hydrated and not tight and dry. And then we have a collection of plant extracts that all soothe and calm the skin, like lavender, calendula, chamomile. All, you know, so this is just a little jar of loveliness. It just packs in. It does what it says it, do, it, it, it will do. It will minimize the pores, deep cleanse, and leave your skin just looking uh, and feeling terrific. Coconut charcoal moisturizing day cream, which would be applied right after the cleansing or the mask. It continues that healing with the coconut charcoal and tea tree. Um, in addition, we've added some affirming ingredients, um, which is DMAE. It soothes and hydrates with green tea, hyaluronic acid, aloe leaf, and we've added some antioxidant protection for daytime because you need it being out in the elements of pomegranate and chamomile. Um, this can be used every day by all skins. And lastly, we have the Night Cream Activated Charcoal Time Release Night Cream. This is used at night, as the, the name indicates, um, and it's time released. Um, the charcoal beads, and you can just vaguely see some here in the photograph of the jar here. These beads, these black beads in the white base there, um, actually break down as you apply them onto your skin. Um, and in addition, it will continue the the soothing and the moisturizing um, because it is a moisturizer. And it, we also put in this one um, another dose of DMAE so your, while your body is at rest, um, this nighttime cream, um, your body is receiving a, an excellent uh, firming ingredient, like I said, DMAE, used by all skins. Just a quick review before we end here. Um, again, Reviva Labs is a solution-based. Um, we approach our products with thinking about problems and solutions, you know, hearkening back to our esthetician background. So I have on this chart here listed uh, many of the problems that people come to us for, um, looking to solve as we're um, selling our products. So it's my mind, dullness, dark spots, and then added the collection next to it that would help address that. And as you see, uh, the firming collection not only addresses fine lines and wrinkles, but it also will address, you know, firmness, tone, and wrinkles. The brightening collection, again, just a uh, overall dull skin tone or specifically very dark spots, uh, you know, a really targeted approach. Anybody, I believe, 25 and older, when you start seeing the degradation to your skin at age 25 and Beyond, we have a very large anti-aging uh, collection, and in particular, the anti-aging trio, which I would invite you back to another webinar to learn about or go on our website to learn about, are all really great serums. Uh, there's a gel serum, there's a cream serum that can all be layered, uh, right, one right on top of each other or used day and night are terrific for all skins, and so on and so forth with this skin. So, um, And, of course, we would recommend using an SPF, sun protective product, or moisturizer every single day for all skin. So that is it for our, um, our presentation. And at the moment, I am going to un, uh, unmute you, though I think you might be unmuted. I'm not sure. Um, if you have any questions, you can either... Ask me on the chat or just shout it out. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse yeah. me. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but can you go back to the previous slide, please? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, dear. Hang on. Um, I know. That's um, the, with the, the chart. Yeah, let me just yes. get to the... Sure, there's a faster way to do it. My computer's a little wonky today. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Sure. 
And again, you can visit our website for, for any other information. Um, and if that's it um, in terms of um, questions, I wish you all a great day, and I hope you join us again next month. Okay. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Nancy. I'll give you a call right back, okay? Perfect, Chris. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you right, very thank much. Bye-bye. Thank you.